Well, the show opens up to sort of a broken family. We have our Alice, who is about to get into a divorce. And so she's sitting there with her daughter, trying to figure out where her life is going. She decides to take a little bit of a nap. And she has, I would say, a nightmare. But I believe it's meant to be a dream. And her dream is entering into Wonderland. She meets all the same characters, the caterpillar and, and the Cheshire cat. The plot does change a little bit from the story we know in that there's a new Mad Hatter and she wants to take over Wonderland. She wants to get rid of the queen and take over everything. Janet the Call plays Alice and she has a very, very wonderful voice. When she was singing, you know, I, she did a really great job. I, I didn't love her portrayal of Alice. She felt a little bit exaggerated. I just, you know, I, it might have been the material. She was the only character that I felt sympathy for and I enjoyed listening to her sing and watching her perform. Karen Mason plays the well-known role of the Queen of Hearts. She did a fantastic job both vocally and with the, the humor, so I thought she was one of the standouts in the show. Darren Ritchie played Jack, the White Knight. Um, and I thought when he was on stage, I was more engaged and I was, I was more into his songs and his performance. So Kate Schindel plays the Mad Hatter. It seemed like although she was trying her hardest to belt out the songs, the sound didn't really ring through to the audience. So I thought in that respect, Kate Schindel was not the best vocally in a cast of exceptional voices. I really admire a new, new music. However, these songs are what sounded like songs that I have heard many times before. There was like Latin numbers, classic ballads, and even uh, a bunch of boys to men kind of numbers. Some of the songs I really did enjoy, but other of the songs I felt were forgettable and kind of didn't have a great melody. There were a lot of jokes that were to me very cheesy. It just felt like they were trying too hard to be funny. And some people laughed, but I, for the most part, I was kind of rolling my eyes. All of the jokes were below sitcom, below sitcom. In the tagline of the show, they say, a new Alice, a new story. But in reality, it's just a more skeptical Alice in the same exact situations that she's been in before. There's not really an arc to the story. She just sort of meets all these characters, and it's quite of weird, and it just wasn't engaging for me. I think this is probably one of the worst shows I've ever seen. And I'm really sorry because I really respect everybody involved. Broadway is Broadway. And it has a very special place, a place that unique that we love. And this was not representing that for me. Wonderland would not be the first thing I would spend my money on. I really don't think people should see this show. I think it fails to reach the potential that it creates and is ultimately very disappointing. Mm -hmm.